and welcome to Amazing Gaming. I'm Amazing and I'm playing Minecraft. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Um, I love this game because it has had so many updates and changes lately which is fantastic and I thought I'd take you through my Minecraft. Well it's not mine actually it's Code Primate's realm that he has. Special realm. Uh, but I do have some things in here that I want to show you and first I also want to show you how it works with my uh, textures and shaders because that's what I love. I love the realism. Firstly I want to be say a big thanks to one of my fans who is a patron of this texture pack uh, and I think it's that or is it the shaders? I can't remember which but they said if you like it, if you love it, definitely go become a patron yourself just try it out see what you think um so they're a big fan of this and i am too by the looks but i've just put it on it's um, um soya i think that's how you pronounced it I'm not entirely sure but it's really really neat um take a look at vines for instance vines have a real um realistic oh that's me <laughs> hang on let me just do this okay so Vines have this beautiful, realistic kind of viney pattern to them. It's beautiful. Look at it. Amazing. Um, let's have a look over here. These ones are good. They're just amazing. Um, there's also another texture pack thrown in as well, which is realistic textures. Um, V25. I, I'm terrible with this. I really am. But um, as you can see, if we look down at the texture of the dirt, it's got like a really interesting kind of thing going on with it there. I really think it's quite neat. Maybe a little over textured. The grass is cool though, look at that. The grass. And I'm using the Optifine UF2 shaders because I find that my system can handle them quite well. I don't drop any frames. Everything looks really nice. So together those two are my go-to right now and I am going to become a patron myself of this gorgeous, gorgeous pack um, which I'll show you some other bits to, um, of that and leave links below in the description so that you can add these to your system as well. Um, I'm running a Ryzen 7 system with a 1080 Ti graphics card um, so my system it can handle if your system can handle VR then it can handle the decent shaders and the texture packs definitely um, although the, the texture pack one of them is meant to be used with the PTGI which is path tracing um, E8 uh, I personally find that the Seuss uh, Renewed is better just for me running my um, system. Basically I'm not dropping frames with it. It's much, much smoother. So that's, that's that out the way. And now I'll give you a little bit of a tour. So here is my stables. Looks like my vines are spelling out some words there. Uh, I have my horses in different groups so I've got some that I'm breeding along the side and I've got these ones with all different colored um, armor leather armor so I've kind of just dyed the leather armor and put them on there so that's all there these horses are speed three and I've, I've divided them up into different speeds so your medium speed horses are here then out the back I have my, why am I holding a steak? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, out the back I've got my super fast horse. I really, I really should not hold a steak. This is, this is my second fastest horse, but my fastest fastest horse is lightning. And lightning, hello lightning. Well lightning is very fast, although it looks a bit weird. Um, but I'll just jump up and over here and just show you how fast lightning is. Come on lightning, do your thing. There we go. So as you can see, lightning is lightning. Really fast horse. I haven't come across a horse as fast. None of my other horses or any of the other horses in the realm I've ridden are as quick as this. 
so it's like it's really really super fast so cool actually I might just which way am I gonna go I think I might go back this way because I've got some other things to show you too I built an entire village which I want to show you really cool village with some awesome stuff in it so I'm just gonna head uh probably across here would be the best way avoid the lava <laughs> yeah I don't want to get burned by the lava but look the lava is quite glowy and bright which is really nice um over here is the village I built so I want to show you that you probably see it a little bit in my intro um, and this is fully functioning but actually it's probably got a few more librarians than anything else because I like to get the books but I will jump over the fence I'll vault the fence come on dude you're supposed to have a good jump thank you and hopefully my horse won't disappear when I jump off there we go all right lightning let's just put you over here for now there we go and for the sake of showing you everything, I am just going to toggle F1 and show you this uh, in its full glory without any um, issues with, and you know, you can see me in the background there. Yeah, that's me there. Hello. Hi, selfie. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, but like this, this is what I want to show you. Now the sun's about to go down, so it's going to get dark. Uh, but here we have the sand texture from the... Um, so yeah, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right pack but look how the light hits it just look at that and see the shadows coming across the sun's dropping down it's starting to get like quite dark this is the time of day that you really want to throw potatoes or bread to your villagers so they can breed just keep throwing them at this time of day or first thing in the morning and they there's a good chance I'll produce an offspring if you have enough doors and beds on your like village so let's let the light drop a little more hello <laughs> look at them all some of them haven't even um, got allocated things yet but um, while it's getting lower in light I wanted to show you the terracotta we've got cyan terracotta and uh, brown terracotta and look at the uh, chisel quartz block as well as the glowstone block and then over here we've got um, the uh, what's it called oh freaky noises <gasps> we've got to go inside the sun's dropped down it looks amazing though um, I just don't want to be caught in the village at night because you know mobs <laughs> mobs are not fun so hello oh no this is my room what are you doing in here I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna sleep <laughs> oh my gosh okay it sounds like I'm losing my voice because actually I am not feeling the best right now no no don't okay all right but okay here's a brand new day at the village that I built and okay I want to show you the style of the houses oh and I forgot to show say that this was like a um, prismarine uh, lantern block you know one of those sea lanterns um, that looks really cool that's my little uh, water feature here all around the edge I've got the white concrete with oak leaves across the top and this is an oak tree you can see the detail in the oak bark by just um, I, I don't know if the quality is that good to be honest well sort of I mean it's pretty cool but the leaves the leaves are awesome like the leaves are beautiful I love the leaves and over here um, to solve the issue of anyone getting out and me still being able to get out see I can just jump over this couple of uh, trap doors here easy to get in and out and the villagers and the animals will not get out and the mobs will not get in so that's a nice stylish way to do a little gate there so that's pretty cool it's over here let me just zoom in and have a look oh it's just the sun hitting everything over there oh hello <laughs> out of my face dude okay so um i haven't done all the paths around the back here because i've kind of kept it like the upper town and the lower town in this you can see how the sunlight hits this these tiles it just looks beautiful um, so the upper town has a bell so if there's an emergency you can ring the bell and all of the villagers will go and 
basically open and close doors in panic. I don't actually think they do go out of the way of mobs. They just open and close doors with panic. That's what they do. They're crazy. Um, I've got a few parrots here. Like a few parrots and... Oh, I thought that was a creeper. Oh, okay. Um, I've got a song in here. I wonder if... Um, oh, what am I doing with wheat seeds? Uh, one, two. And there go my parrots. Like a few of them will start dancing, which is really cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I've got cake there. I actually didn't even check to see if I'm hungry. Oh no, I'm pretty good. Someone here is going to be like, um, I don't know, a food place, a butcher's, or whatever. I took out some of the slabs so I wouldn't get any occupational hazards, you know, getting too many butchers and blah blah blah, because I'm still getting the librarians going. But I've got cake here if I'm hungry, and I'm going to make some tables. Then upstairs, we'll have like the living quarters for the butcher or whatever. So it's maybe a cakery, butchery, whatever, possibly. Then out here we've got a little um, veranda. And this is all just those um, trapdoors as well. Hello, guys. Am I interrupting you? I am, I know. I'm interrupting. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stay away from my horse. No. Lightning doesn't like strangers. Uh, and I've put the light blue stained glass uh, and then a plain glass panes uh, in there. I've got little flower boxes with some flowers which is quite neat. And a little, uh, little lanterns. There we go. Let's go check it out. Dancing buddies here. Look how cool that is. A few of them will dance. So the radius of the music is not particularly great. But it's enough for them. So I'm happy with that. Right, so that's that. And so all these buildings have oak top and bottom, white concrete, and uh, it's actually light blue terracotta, I think. Yeah, light blue terracotta. And these are... Wait, no. Yeah, these are glazed um, cyan terracotta. No, 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 no. What is it? Is it the concrete or the terracotta? I can't remember. It's gotta be... I, I thought it was terracotta. It could be concrete. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> so each of these little rooms... Oh, what's going on here? Who did this? I did not do this. Who did this? Someone's been in my village and done something. Oof, okay, I'll have to fix that. Um, that's just a little room for the librarian. Uh, out here I've got the uh, dock, working dock, so I've got the fisherman's barrel with some stuff in it. I've put a lantern in this. It's kind of like a little crane thing, but like a, a basket for catching crayfish or whatever. The water looks really cool. I have to admit, the water looks the water is really nice. Look at that. It's just super awesome. Reflective. Oh, you can see the dirt mixing in with the sand on the terrain floor. I like it. Uh, I've created a bridge over here. This is a bridge again using the oak trapdoors along the side. Uh, some more lanterns. And it's got a good view of the village from here. This is nice. And over here we have uh, potatoes. Uh, we're missing a potato. And uh, wheat and potatoes. Now farmer. Happy farmer. Hello. Over here we've got some tropical fish swimming around in the shallows of this little lagoon. So I went out, I found loads of tropical fish. I'm like, I need a million buckets. So filled a million buckets with water literally and grabbed different fish. And they love it in here. I need to get a few more varieties, but I'm quite happy swimming in there. And over here, we just got a few hay bales, uh, some sugar cane for paper. Oh, cats in the window. <laughs> Actually, gave me a fright. A few cats. 
Uh, this is the hut for the um, farmer. And then following around the coastline, we've just got a little beach uh, campfire and a little place to sit and watch the sunset. I did do a few things around here actually. I put a waterfall just over that side and I built a river that runs all the way around to the other coast. So you've got water access, there's uh, tram or trainway access, there's horse access, there's you know, but pretty much every kind of access you can think of to travel around the main areas here which is um, really cool. So I love how the waterfall works, I just love it, it's kind of, it's cool. So that's a little one there and that's all pretty much man-made through there. I have to widen it a little bit but apart from that it's pretty good. Uh, I've got some llamas, uh, these were traders llamas but I changed the, the I, I got them to love me, I sat on them for a while then uh, changed out the carpets and put some storage on them just by right clicking on the rump with a chest and now these llamas are just happy they just kind of hang about they like to follow each other so if a trader comes by uh, they will kind of gravitate towards the other llamas or the other llamas will kind of gravitate towards them and i have a bunch of these well I built one but then they decided to build some more and I don't know what happened I think at some point I might have accidentally hurt one of my um, villagers and all of these started attacking me <laughs> oh it's terrible um, so this is the room where they like to you know <clears throat> get it on there's plenty of doors to expand the population plenty of beds for them to do their business and they're happy as well so oh my gosh look at these but if i click on them hello multi-shot okay you're probably not that great but uh and you're not that great gosh give me a good one hello fortune three and looting three that's a pretty good one right there and you are what are you infinity and feather falling four uh, sharpness 4, luck of C2. So not too bad. I do need to get a couple of other ones, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Um, I also built that waterfall over there. Um, that's a cut way through to my stables and my home, which is a lot of fun. And uh, you can basically just come out of the tunnel there and jump into the water and drop straight into the lagoon and cross over, which is cool. But if you wait long enough, the the water actually changes color like it goes really green really cool so I love that it's really awesome it just gets more green and then over that side I think the other one it just becomes sparkly that one there yeah look at it it's got little glittery bits sparkly bits you can see the shadows growing now with the path tracing version of this, um, it's not path tracing, PTGI, you'll actually get day cloud cover as well, uh, which kind of puts you know, a little bit of darkness, but it's so more accurate. And also the water is incredible, but my system just doesn't like it. It's just too, you know, it's a, it's a computer killer, really. Uh, so I don't use that yet. The reason why I wanted to try these um, packs out, look at the morning, the morning waterfall now. Let me just jump up. Um, the reason why I wanted to try these packs out is because I want them. Like I absolutely want to become a patron and support, but I needed to know if my system would actually be able to run it first. And I'm quite happy to say that uh, yes, my system will run it. In the configuration that I have so I can support the patron not a problem so all the links will be down below and I will be basically paying well ten dollars a month it's not that much uh, to have this beautiful realism in game like it's beautiful it's so nice I love it so that is my minecraft village that is my well i didn't really show you my house much i suppose i can i can jump over there maybe i'll leave my horse here for now i think it'll be okay all right let's let's just go for a wander up here 
cross. And straight through this tunnel. And here we go. That is my house, that is my property, and there is my stables. So this is just down to stop mobs from jumping over. Won't stop spiders, but look at the brickwork here. You can see the brick texture. You can see, oh, that's my enchanting room. I'll show you that. Now, this door's a bit of a trap. If you're not careful, you won't actually be able to get in. It's tricky. Even I struggle to get in, but uh, this is the interior. So this is my enchanting room. Kind of like got that, I don't know, regal enchanting feel to it. You can get up on the anvil here and just take a look. Uh, the book there, there's plenty of bookshelves. Uh, lots of hanging lights. These are floating lights, so I just use glass panes to make them look floating. And I did the same over my stairwell as well, and I wanted to make this a light well, so lots of natural light coming in. Uh, jungle plank stairs running through it, and then the downstairs has redstone lanterns, storage, fireplace, access to mines, and then you just get in through that switch to get through the iron door. Um, I've got floating shelves here with carpet tiles and I just used string to separate them out so it gave me a guide to run it all the way around. Uh, we've got the orange terracotta on the walls. Um, we've got a little bit of carpeting in the way of glazed white terracotta in a couple of patches. And my kitchen. So this kitchen has the barrels all the way across the top. We have the smoker, furnace, blast furnace stack on the left, uh, windows all the way around. We've got the cauldron. Uh, there is actually a composter or composter, I don't know what you guys call it, so weird. Uh, some basic things like stone cutter and grinder and uh, fletching table, uh, cartography, crafting, loom, that sort of thing through here. More storage through the middle with carpet tiles to make an island and yeah just the pendant lights i suppose oh i'm pretty sure i just heard a zombie oh yeah i did i totally did um and then we've got i've got a day button here i can press so i can reset the night to day if for any reason it's someone's you know they're having an issue and they need it uh and um yeah salmon fresh salmon for the cats lots of cats Got a swimming pool out the, the back here. I've got my um, nether portal there. It's just a, like a limestone surround with blue concrete. Uh, it's nice. Uh, another veranda out this side. And this is quite a large one. I was thinking of uh, building another room on this side of it. Just a little one for a bathroom. Which is because I haven't actually got a bathroom built on this one. And then all of my... Um, roofing is just slabs of the stone brick the slabs which is nice that looks down on the kitchen so a little bit more natural light comes through and then over here i haven't really uh changed the carpet tile yet oh maybe i have but i'm missing a gray bed i've got to put another gray bed in here and this is the view from my bedroom Looking out into the uh, acacia tree biome, which I heard that in update 15 we will be getting elephants, zebras and giraffes, if I am not mistaken. And so all of these plains here, the, um, the dry acacia plains, will probably, hopefully, just have them naturally spawning on it. So that's going to be amazing. I really, really can't wait for that. I'm looking forward to just seeing... How that's gonna look. That's my dog Cookie. Hi Cookie, how you doing? Hey Cookie. Yeah, you're a good boy. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm super excited for the next update. It's gonna be really, really cool. Oh, I didn't even show you out here. So this is the uh exterior veranda lower uh lower side of it. This is actually the front entry of that, so you can see the detail in that, running all the way around. 
And of course, I built on top of an open, like a huge cave. Horrible cave with horrible mobs in it all the time. So, yeah, that that was pretty much this whole landscape is porous. It's like Swiss cheese. There's holes in everywhere. There's mobs everywhere. And when I first started building on this area, it was just death every few seconds. Didn't have any good armor. It was horrible. But now I'm got this nice little area going it's I'm pretty much the horse breeder so if you need a horse come see me but um, yeah I really like it I love my stables with uh, the different trapdoor the acacia trapdoors looks really cool and yeah and I love using the shaders and as I said I love using the texture packs just giving some variety to the game it's a lot of fun makes everything look super cool um, so I hope you enjoyed this little um, intro into a couple of the things that I've built here. Um, yeah, most of the rest of what I do will probably be gameplay. Uh, and I may build some more stuff. I have to figure out what to build. If you've got any ideas of something that I can build, please let me know in the comments below what you want to see. And uh, yeah, I will definitely um, try and get that done. Because who doesn't like a challenge? Plus we like to play mini games on here, which is a load of fun as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will catch you again next time for Amazing Gaming. Catch you later. Bye.